That aircraft carrier group in the region moving in just in case of a North Korea provocation. The USS Carl Vinson is positioned off the Korean Peninsula. That actually wasn't the case. Despite implications from the Trump administration, the U.S. didn't have an aircraft carrier strike group near North Korea last weekend. Defense News notes photos posted from the carrier put it thousands of miles from the peninsula and traveling in the opposite direction. Tensions between North Korea and the U.S. rose ahead of the isolated nation's annual celebration of its founding, when it was expected to test its nuclear program. Reports that the U.S. would position its strike group in the area didn't help. The DPRK is willing and ready to react to any mode of war desired by the U.S. So here's a timeline of what happened. On April 8th, the aircraft carrier and its strike group left Singapore. The next day, the U.S. Navy announced the commander of U.S. Pacific Command directed the USS Carl Vinson strike group to head north. It said the group would skip out on previously planned port visits to Australia. A spokesman for U.S. Pacific Command said the move was to maintain readiness and presence in the Western Pacific. Citing missile tests, he then said North Korea remained the number one threat in the region. In an interview that aired April 12th on Fox Business Network, President Donald Trump was asked about the redirection of the ships. We are sending an armada, very powerful. We have submarines, very powerful. Based on the U.S. Navy's own photos, the USS Carl Vinson strike group was in the South China Sea from April 8th to the 14th, still far from the Korean Peninsula. The photos show the strike group in the Indian Ocean on April 14th and 15th. That means it was even farther away from the Korean Peninsula when North Korean leader Kim Jong-un conducted his failed missile test over the weekend. According to the New York Times, the White House said it got its information from the U.S. Department of Defense. The Times reported Reports defense officials, quote, described a glitch-ridden sequence of events that led to the reports.